Phil Diamond. I live in uh, Saratoga, uh, Saratoga Springs. Uh, I looked at the agenda. I looked at the final agenda, and uh, I see something that if it wasn't so comical, it would be really, really sad. I see that under the uh, C Commissioner of Finance's agenda and the Commissioner of uh, Public Works agenda are two items regarding the resolution and the Board of Ethics uh, number 6-2016. Um, <clears throat> I do not understand why uh, those two people, above all, have this on their agenda. Uh, the mayor has done what she believes to be legally responsible and has confirmed it is legally responsible. The mayor will explain fully why she is in the right and what she did was legal. But the two people who want to bring up this resolution and the Board of Ethics finding is this clearly a miserable, disgusting political maneuver to attack the mayor? Commissioner Sirocco, uh, one of the people who has this on his, uh, his uh, agenda, is currently under investigation by the New York State Controller for cutting off a revenue stream of water, water connection fees to the tune of close to a million dollars. The Commissioner of Finance, who voted after he did this to stop collecting fees, is also being looked at because why would a Commissioner of Finance want to stop a revenue stream that the taxpayers don't even pay for? Why would she do this? So Two minutes. They, they are both being looked at. And as Mr. Lawton said uh, before, those who have not sinned, those who have sinned should not cast the first stone. I believe that the mayor will explain why she did what she did, and she is absolutely right about what she did. And I condemn all these other people who want to just have a political fight, a political war against her for A, bringing this up, to writing this ridiculous resolution and just being obstreperous because they want to have other agendas and they want to satisfy those other Two minutes agendas. Is up. Thank you. Any other comments? Mr. Miller, please sit down. I think he was told he was disgusting by someone in the audience. I that, think that's uncalled for. At this Thank point, you. we're listening to public comments at the microphone only. Mr. Miller should have uh, announced his political affiliation with the Independence Can Party. Can you Can announce you your name? And My name is Bill McTighe, Saratoga Springs. I, too, uh, follow the statements uh, by Mr. Lawton and Mr. Diamond. Uh, I've read this resolution that's on the City Council agenda tonight, and it is, uh, it's pretty tough talk coming from a commissioner who's currently under, uh, under investigation. Phil is, is absolutely right. There's been an extensive uh, investigation going on uh, over the, uh, what I consider to be the, uh, the in, improper and alleged, uh, perhaps illegal, waiving of nearly a million dollars in water connection fees by the Commissioner of Public Works without co council authorization. So my question here tonight is where was the concern two years ago or even last year or even this year, the beginning of this year when the Commissioner waived another uh, $500,000 in water connection fees for the project on Division Street? My question is from those interested council members where was the concern for ethics and a review by the city's ethics, ethics board over what the Commissioner of Public Works was pulling off downstairs in his office two years ago? This caused a major state investigation by the controller in this city. We're still awaiting for the results of that investigation. So to the Commissioner of Public Works, I would say the only reason you're doing this, Commissioner, is it because you got uh, 
I'm assuming you've got cooperation from uh, other Democrats, uh, fellow party uh, people uh, that are associated with the same party as the mayor. You've got cover. That's why you're doing this. This is nothing more than political retaliation because of the mayor's resistance, or I should say, because of her uh, recusal over the hospital's uh, desire to put an 80,000 square foot uh, commercial building in the midst of a residential Two minutes. And I think it's disgraceful. And, and I do a follow up uh, with comments that uh, we're all waiting for the results of that investigation. Commissioner, you may rue the day. You may rue the day that you've pulled this stunt uh, against the mayor. Thank you. Not unless you're, are you done, Commissioner? I'm done. Uh, and that would be to Phil Diamond, who stated that I was the subject of an investigation by the New York State Comptroller regarding water connection, and that is completely false. Um, I am not in any way, shape, or form the subject of his investigation, uh, nor is the Department of Finance a uh, subject of that investigation. Uh, we, there was a vote to waive water connection fees. That was a 4-1 vote. That wasn't just a Commissioner of Finance vote or a, a Department of Public Works vote. Um, and we also seem to have information that these types of fees could be unconstitutional. My office actually is working very closely with the Comptroller's office on the investigations that are taking place here. There are investigations going on, and I would say that they are also not directly focused on Commissioner Scirocco. They are looking at water fees over the last 30 to 40 years. To say that Commissioner Scirocco is the subject of an investigation uh, solely is also a falsehood. And <laughs> that's the bottom line. Um, in terms of Mark Lawton's uh, comments, I don't believe you use the word smear. I don't believe we are doing anything to smear anyone here. I don't believe I've personally smeared this council in any way, shape, or form. Um, things happen. We need to take a look at them, and we need to take them seriously. I believe that every member of this council, to the best of their ability, tries to uphold the various duties that come under them with regards to this charter. Every single one of these departments d does. And I, you may not speak back. You may not speak Wait a minute. back, or I will have you removed. Okay. Yeah, tough. That's right. That's Two okay. Minutes. Could you please have this man okay. removed now, please? No, just I've commissioner. Asked, I've asked, have all right. him removed. All right, all right. Have him removed. Mark, that's all right. You may leave now. I will use your name anytime I feel. You will not come up here and speak to this council and tell us. I would please, like him removed. Please, please. try to refrain from using people's names and just continue your comments, Commissioner. And, um, you know, many of our meetings seem to run awry here because we don't have good control over our meetings. And if you make another word uh, to, to us, I'm going to have you removed as well. We have a lot of serious business. We have a lot of serious. No, Thank please, you. please, nobody. We have a lot of from serious the audience. business to take care of tonight. I am okay. absolutely not. I am absolutely not. Commissioner, please finish your comments. We need to move this meeting along, as you suggested. I didn't suggest that. Um, we have a lot of important uh, topics to take care of this evening, and one of them is ethics. And I'm a little tired, Mayor, of your people coming up here and attacking us. They're and your they, people, too. Are, yes, no, no, they, are, no, no, they no. live in the city, they and they're are, residents they are that are allowed that to speak. They take advice from, and one they of them do is not your boyfriend. Take, they so are not. One of them is your Commissioner, boyfriend. This is absolutely inappropriate. It's not. Okay, you're cut off. You're gaveled. Let's move on. From an unethical mayor. Thank you. No. <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. They're constituents. Everybody gets two minutes. I'm following the rules that you passed you in your rules of conduct. You you're done. You're done. Or you'll be removed. You do not. Okay, we're going on to presentations. You have authority like that. But yeah, you do not. Well, you're disrupting the meeting right now, and we're moving forward to presentations. Period. Okay. Poor parking task force.